Okay, so I'm out on a walk today and it's nice blue sky and I've come across this as a kind of carving here with some color on it. I've got my camera with me, I tend to take it with me, but I also tend to take my iPhone as well. And if you've got a smartphone, you know that they've kind of got a good wide angle. So I'm gonna show you a trick to get even wider angle because I've got a wide angle lens on this. So this is a Canon EOS R. I've got a link for this below. And I'm just gonna get a shot with this and then I'm gonna show you the trick for getting it even wider than you think you can on your iPhone. So let's just try this. There we go. And, and it looks quite nice because it's got the blue sky. So I'm gonna do this with the iPhone. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Okay, so here's what we're gonna to do to get this wider. Now I'm using an iPhone 11 Pro and you can see I can go wide angle like that, but I can go wider again. Now what you need to do, and you'll see it here on the right, I've got this in landscape, this works in portraits as well. You've got this little arrow here. If you tap on that, it now brings up some options down the side here. One of them here says four by three, four three. That is means it is four across by three down. So that could be pixels, inches, centimeters. It's just the ratio. So for every four pixels across, it's three pixels down. Now that's pretty good for photos. That's what our older standard definition televisions used to be as well. But if I tap on it, you'll see I can go square, which gives you one by one. Okay, so it actually said square there, but when I tapped on it, it did one by one. So it's one pixel across for every one down. But look at this, 16 by nine. That is like your widescreen TV. That is wider. Can you see it's filled more of the screen? So it's kind of like 16 pixels across for every nine pixels down. So what I'm gonna do now is if I take a picture with that, you can see I've got a much wider shot. So let me just show you that again. If I go 16 by nine, I go to four, three. You can see it's not as wide because the 16 by nine is taking up more of the width. You can see it here just on the screen. Once you've done that, you can actually just tap on this arrow on the right here. And there you go. It's kind of back to normal. So there you have it. A nice, easy way to get a wide angle shot. Okay, thanks for watching. As you can see, Neat little trick on the iPhone, kind of maybe one that's not talked about too much, but there you have it. It does a really, really nice job of getting an extra wide shot. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back. Thanks for watching and see you soon.